Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can um, decide if to show some of the columns in a Microsoft test uh, based on a condition. So let's see how we do it. We have a, a list here, which has a request column. We have a category, which has a choice of a new in progress and closed. And we have a responsible, which is a person. Now, I would like that actually based if the if the category is new, then it will show the responsible. If not, then not. Um, so let's see what uh, how how do we do it. So I'll just click on new. A new form has been opened. I can type in a test. And uh, you see now that I, I don't see, for instance, the, the the responsible. But if I choose new, all of a sudden this responsible uh, appears. So let's see how we do it. So just like we opened the new form, we have here a drop down, and we have three things. One is edit the column. Second is to configure the layout, header, foot, and body, and also to customize in Power Apps. So we will click edit column. Here we can decide how the, the columns will appear, meaning we can say that the request will be first, last, and we can decide that the category is first, and we can, uh, you see the three dots where we can move it up or down or drop or drag it. Now you see, for instance, one of the columns actually, because I chose the three dots and chose edit conditional formula it's possible to put a condition that says for instance if the column category okay is equal new then show it if not false now there's a link here where you can go and see all of the examples for instance here is uh, what we saw here, uh, you can do it on um, a value or a number. You can do it uh, here summing up and you can uh, do it based on dates and uh, all kinds of uh, interesting stuff. Um, so this is actually uh, how we do it. And um, so I just uh, arranged it. So let's uh, and once we save it, actually, you see it's great, and that means that there's a conditional formula there. Um, let's just do a, another example. Um, so I will add a, a column, which is, for instance, a number. Let's look for the number. Number. And we call this cells. Now it's important that uh, I think it's case sensitive, so you, you must uh, use uh, exactly how it is, if with capitals or not. So we have a column here with cells, and let's enter some, some data. And what we want to do is uh, to make a condition that actually if, if the cells is uh, above 100, then it will show, for instance, uh, something else. So let's just cre create, for instance, a new column. It's called uh, um, costs. And what we will do is we'll now go to new. And uh, here I want to edit and say, wait, something has, sometimes it, it happens and you just need to refresh the page a couple of times until it, everything is updated. So uh, actually I will go here and edit the column and you see now I have everything but I want the cost to show only if the sales are there. So I will need to go and click the three dots and edit the condition. I'll just co copy here uh, the same example and I will say if the value of a column is above then I want to see the cost. So I will go here and paste it and just change the, the name of the column to the name of the column is cells. Let's see, it's cells without an S and we will say if it's above 
will equal 100 then uh, the cost will uh, be shown you see it's grayed out let's press save I'll clock I'll refresh refresh again just to be and I will create a new form so you see actually uh, the cost is here something is wrong but um, let's just check it out I'll go again let's see what's wrong so cost cost let's edit it if sales is less than 100 then show it let's make it greater than 100 let's save and uh, refresh so now you see sales is not greater so first of all i cho choose new i see now i can add this column and if I enter sales which is 90 uh, nothing will happen but if I put 200 I see the cost has come um, okay so this is actually uh, the experience just to show you um, here we have a configure layout here you can put a JSON um, which you can define a nicer the header the body and footer and here you have actually an uh, example of the JSON. So you can see here you can define, uh, for instance, the header. So you can copy it and paste it. Let's just do an example. Let's take all of this, copy it, and go here under the header and paste. Let's save, preview. You see this has been added. Uh, if we go and also take the body, then you can do it. Let's look for example for the footer. Here we are. Body footer. So I will copy this and I'll switch to the footer and paste it here. And hopefully it shows something. No, as we you might need to refresh it. Um, but you understand the concept, and um, and try it by yourself. Okay, so have a good day and uh, goodbye.